By recording a sample with several drum sounds into the phonogene, it is possible to assign each pad its own sound and one-shot the samples. I'm starting with the sample I recorded from my phone containing a few drum sounds I'd like to use. The first thing I'll need to do is set splice points to chop the sample into smaller pieces called splices. I could do this by tapping, but it is also possible to zoom in on a transient in order to more accurately place a splice point at the beginning of an attack. The gene size panel control gradually breaks the current splice up into smaller equally sized pieces called genes that you can scrub through using slide. Technically, the gene size panel control sets the divisor value for the length of the gene. Setting gene size to one quarter of the sample length will allow me to hear each drum sound individually using slide to pick the sound that's playing back. The next step is to find the first loud gene after a period of silence in order to place the first splice point. Starting with slide fully clockwise, I'll move backwards through the sample setting splice points along the way in order to separate each drum sound into a separate splice. In order to play the splices back with the pressure points, I need to send the phonogene two things. First, a gate to the play input in order to trigger playback each time a pad is pressed. And secondly, a row of tune voltages to assign a different sound for each touch plate. Remember, it is important to turn the attenuator all the way up and the organize knob all the way down. Next, I'll continue to patch from the T-gate output, or common gate output if not connected to a brains, to the phonogene's play input in order to one-shot the sample. By setting a different tune voltage to each pad of the pressure points, I will assign a different splice to each pad. Note, playback is monophonic, as all splices behave as if they are in the same mute group. Alternatively, I can sequence playback by patching a clock to both the input on the brains and the play input on the phonogene. The third row of tune voltages on the pressure point select the sample. The very speed panel control sets the pitch. Here I'm slowing the sample down in order to slightly lower the pitch. For more information, visit MakeNoiseMusic.com.